Good morning, everybody. So we're going to start this morning with hugs. Um, and it says, Overcoming the disappointment. Peace to the far off, peace to the near at hand, says God, and yes, I will heal them. Isaiah 57, 19. Some of our most important dreams are the ones we abandon. Some of our most important goals are the ones we don't attain. Sometimes our most important journeys are the ones we take the winding conclusion of what seems to be a dead end street. Thankfully, with God, there is no dead ends. There are only opportunities that to learn, to yield, to trust, to serve, and to grow. The next time you experience one of life's inevitable disappointments, don't despair and don't be afraid to try plan B. Consider every setback an opportunity to choose a new path. And as you take your next step, remember the that what, what looks like a dead end may in fact be the fast lane according to God. The difference between winning and losing is how we choose to react to disappointment. Barbara Johnson. And then next we've got Bathed in Love. And it says, An unchanging promise. Whatever is good and perfect is a gift coming down to us from God our Father who created all the light in the heavens. He never changes or casts a shifting shadow. James 1.17 God's character never changes. So he is completely reliable. What a great comfort. No matter how your life changes, no matter what new situation you face, God is with you. You can always count on his, on his unchanging promise to take care of you. And then Lion Bites. I really like this book. Um, and every day it look, like continues on the last. Who then is allowed to ascend the mountain of y Yahweh? And who has the privilege to, of entering into God's holy place? Those who are clean, whose works and ways are pure, whose heart are true and sealed by the truth. Those who are never deceived, whose words are sure. They will receive Yahweh's blessing and righteousness given by the Savior God. They will stand before God, and for they seek the pleasures of God's face, the God of Jacob. Psalms 24, 3-6 Yesterday you chose to get up from the place where you were stuck and begin to walk with Jesus and ascend with him. Lean on me and take me by the arm and walk with me. Jesus continues to encourage you. He, the Lord himself, comes now to help you up his mountain. Keep leaning on him. He has you. Take your first steps in faith and determine that you are going to continue with the climb. You are choosing to move forward with Jesus. Take the first steps in faith and determine that you are going to continue the climb. You are choosing to move forward with Jesus today and forever. As you take the hand of Jesus, I can see many other saints walking up the hill of the Lord with you, each one of them on their own walk, climbing the mountain together. Some are cheering you, others are on the side of the path, others are singing, others are on their knees, being helped up and linking arms with other travelers. They are all walking together. You are not alone. Decree. As you respond to him, be encouraged and speak out loud the following prayer. I now determine to take the first steps and move with you. I gladly join the other saints together and continue to climb. I thank you, Jesus, and I can lean on you and gain strength from you. I receive it today. And then we're going to do Lift Me Up Bible quotations. And our verse for the day is, They will mount up wings. Like eagles, they will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. And then, Sapphire, today's says, The Law of Species. In Genesis, God ordained that each life reproduce after its own kind. Trees, plants, and animals all reproduce after their own kind. And each living thing is drawn to its own kind in order to reproduce. This principle always applies to the spiritual realm. If you're drawn to look for sin, then you're of sin. Sin is your nature. If you're drawn to gossip, then you are of gossip and gossip is your nature. If you're attracted to condemn others, then you are of condemnation. If you're looking for... Oops, an alarm was going off. If you're looking for evil, even if to judge it, you are of evil. To the impure... Each is drawn to its own kind, so if you want to be holy, 
You have to be drawn to that which is holy, to delight in that which is holy, to be in the presence of that which is holy. Start rejoicing over what you want to become. It's all going back to the beginning. Seek after that which you want to be and rejoice in it. Because that which you are drawn to, so you be, will be, each according to its own kind. Wow. At first I didn't know where we were going with that, and then it ended up being like really powerful. Um, next we're going to wake up to hope. And it says, get ready for the new. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Isaiah 43, 19. Are you ready for the new chapter in your life? Sometimes in order to move forward into blessing God has for you, you have to be willing to let go of the old. Things that are behind you are not nearly as important as what is in front of you. It's time to get ready for the new. You may have some unfair things happen to you, things that you don't understand, but let me tell you, you have come too far to stop now. Instead of allowing those things to hold you back, why don't you let go and step into faith of the new? It's time to get a new, bigger version. It's time to get a new, fresher outlook. It's time to rise up with a new attitude. Instead of settling, settling when you are picked up and move forward, have the attitude to say, I may not understand it. I may not have been it may not have been fair but I am getting stuck I'm not getting stuck on this page I know God has a new chapter for me a chapter filled with blessings favor and victory prayer for the day father thank you for your faithfulness in my life today I choose to trust you with my past present and future I am making a forward from this moment on give me wisdom to discern the season of my life and teach me to embrace the new things you have in store for me. I declare you will have a new chapter for me filled with blessings, favor, and victory. In Jesus' name, amen. Wake up thought. If you could write your best life story this morning, what would you say? Is there a reaction to see and describe yourself in terms of your past experience and present limitations? More in terms of losing or just surviving rather than fulfilling your dreams? If you've packed away your dreams, dare to unpack them today and ask God to rekindle them in your heart and mind. It's time to enlarge your vision. And that is everything I have for you this morning. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.